Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers or pins or like assholes and assholes or like podcasts. Everybody has one. From left to right, we got straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Danielle in the building. We got Mr. Shoot the Fade, Big Yo. Gago in the building. We got the brain, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus Arco in the building. We got CDM Bezo in the building. Oh, it's a lot of goddamn names in here. We got O-Block Scrooge in the uh-huh. building. And last but certainly not least, we got Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. All right, enough of that. Now I need you to make some... I'm, I'm sorry. One time for the queen. Ooh. I told you I ain't used to it, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, one day off, y'all. Mm-hmm. He's slipping on his job. I wasn't prepared. Mm-hmm. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. What's going on, everybody? How everybody feeling? Oh, well, first, 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 let's give a shout-out to our sponsor. Amen. One time for our sponsors, Black uh-huh. Billionaire and Kiara Wine. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. Everybody hey. feeling energy. Feeling great, feeling good. Feeling real good. Feeling I real good. Fucking blow. Uh, I'm tired. Let's start there. Where that one shit at? <laughs> look. <laughs> Before we get into topics, I want to let y'all know how bad of an influence O Block is. <clears throat> uh, what she do? Nothing. Mm. It ain't me. So listen, mm. the other day, I'm like, bro, what you doing? <clears throat> he like, shit, what you doing? I said, I'm about to go get something to eat. He said, shit, I'm hungry. I'm like, what you trying to eat? He said, meet him at Major League. I'm going to make this short. We get the Major League day not open. So I'm like, fuck it, let's go to Rose. We go to I get my normal, some Bria Street tacos. They be like, but he, on the, he got, what you get, a fajita or something like oh, that? Some type of burrito shit, but I don't even eat so it took me a minute to scan the menu. But go ahead. So we eat or whatever. After we sit there for a minute, I'm like, damn, that shit was good. You fucking with it? He's like, yeah, I ain't going to lie. I was fucking with it. I said, yeah, that shit fire. I said, now they need to come on and hurry up with that bill. Because I told him I would pay. So I'm like, they need to come on and hurry up with that bill. He was like, yeah, for sure. I said, for niggas, get up and get the fuck up <laughs> out of here. That nigga was like, nah, I'm on that. I said, nigga, I'm on that. I reached in my pocket and grabbed my keys. Next thing you know, I seen this nigga getting about the booth. I was right behind him. We was booking it. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter dude at the podium and shit. We nodded at him like Gary. Right. <laughs> I get outside. Good I get a nice. little job. He bro, like, he like, bro, we outside, man. Like, <laughs> man it's we, over with. Uh, I didn't remote call <laughs> him. Imagine. So as soon as I get in, Imagine. Man, <laughs> 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 I called him. So, that shit was so funny, and it was so. Hey, funny. bro, we was in the car. We was this close rolling. to going to another one for some drinks. How ain't nobody see y'all big ass niggas? I don't know. Sliding up out of there. <laughs> you hear me? I'm in there. They just didn't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> they, that's what it was. I'm yeah, dude at the door, he was just like. <laughs> Y'all said, it. Let have, have, y'all, it. have y'all ever <laughs> seen the town? <laughs> yup. You remember nah, when they seen it? Ooh, when yeah, they hit when they, that, when they, went when they hit the now nah, when they hit the bank with the um, it was either the bank or the armored car, but they had the nun mask on. Uh, yeah, and the cops and they were switching, they were switching cars, hmm. and the cops seen them. And he was like, "Shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to smoke me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gonna get switch cheesed up in that mm-hmm. motherfucker." But yeah, that was just, I thought we would share that. I felt like that was like the highlight of my day. Not to it mention, this good. nigga kept, he tried to manipulate the situation later on, Tom Bell. But I bought you lunch. Nigga, we had <laughs> 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 I'm good. Hey, I, mean, I told him, I, I, told him in the car, I said, switching over to Geico, nigga, you sweat, you save 15%. I ain't going to lie. Fucking around. It's the thought that counts. Right. And that shit came up quick as fuck. We ain't even playing that shit. It was just in conversation. It was like, oh, yeah, bust a move, bust a move, and we was gone. Like, Sometimes it feel good doing bad stuff. <laughs> when we was on our way to our cars, I said, I said, I sure do. I said, I'm out here doing hood rat stuff with my hood rat friends, <laughs> like Lil Milton. On the phone, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but I, man, I slid a Jack's Pizza through the, through the self checkout at Crowley. Oh, shit. Now we talking. 
<laughs> now we talking. Mm. Ain't got nothing to say for that kid. Man, what? Nah, all right. Mm-hmm. Me? Yeah. I've been walking out. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, hey, man, hey, man, right, say, man, you know. I don't get it. So I'm you leave it at, at the bottom of your dog on cart, not telling them. Nah, I got that shit. It's self scan. Mm-hmm. I scan a couple twelve packs around that motherfucker. Shit, you better pay attention. I wait. I be getting cases of water, all type shit. Yeah. And act act like I scan it and everything. Do, do, we over here self snitching on do, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's under 500. It's cool. Arco, what you ain't did, Arco? Man, I ain't Black did. Jesus. Quit playing Black Jesus. Thing. Not a damn thing. Uh, <laughs> Black Jesus no, for real. No, no, I'm just messing with you. He said, my father is watching. <laughs> <laughs> my holy, my heavenly father. Man, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got something? Uh, you was about to tell us something? No, I wasn't. I, wasn't. Okay. <laughs> no, I was just about to say, uh, I, was, I checked out this show on Netflix, though. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? They're watching my talk shows. <laughs> Chilling. No, that's it. He said, that's it. Yeah. Y'all seen Super Sale yet? That's what I was talking about. What I was about Ooh. to mention. That motherfucker, bad motherfucker. Bad motherfucker. I've been trying to tell y'all. What is it? It's called Super Sale. Uh, black mm-hmm. black series, superpowers. It's tight. It's hard. Oh, I did see like a little. Yeah, I did see it's a good. clip of it. Yeah. My boy that uh-huh. played um, What's Crazy Cuz from BMF. Yep, Lamar. Yep. Lamar. Yep. I see that he's in it. Yeah. I ain't know he had an accent. Yeah. Fuck yeah. me up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he like the nigga from okay. Snowfall. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, they got that shit off. It's called what again? Super Sale. Them what UK is it on? Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, for is real. Is it on that one spot? Hey. Mm-hmm. They know I'm how to do it there. Yeah. <clears throat> they know how to act like us, like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> is it a lot of episodes? Six. Okay, Make and this is brand new. So I ain't got to. Okay. I ain't got to do no catching up. Yep. Okay. Fire. All right, before we get to our first topic, I would like to give to a, a give a round of applause to Black Jesus yes. for carrying pie last week, man. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. God bless you. I wasn't here, brother. Thank you. But I heard you did swear. You know what I'm saying? I was here for the next time you get the keys. Yeah, man. Hopefully there will be a next time. Yeah, I know. You yeah, know. Yeah, but I had fun though. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Who that. need a little more volume? We do. Yeah. No, y'all just need to speak into the diaphragm. But I got you. I'll turn you up a little I'll bit. I'll be there. speaking in. I say it. swing swing my dope. Swing my dope. Every, Every time, time, time you swing, swing my, my dope. dope. Talking they gonna search you up five. and down. Okay. Dope. I got y'all. <laughs> All right, so Oh, tell me about your experience. How did you feel? Having to play that role. Oh, man. So it's a little more to it than I thought, really. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a lot to come into play. You got to gotta be focused, man. You got to you got to, you got to, to be on your P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? Them buttons. Man, with, with the conversation, you know what I'm saying? When to bring up a topic. When to, when to, <clears throat> when to cut off a topic, excuse me. Uh Learning, learning, you know what I'm saying? When to insert certain things, you know, segues and things like that. Uh, what else? Man, it was just, it, it was just a bunch of stuff, man. Really. What's uh, San Diego? Shit, different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more to it, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you sitting in that seat, you know what I'm saying? It versus so just. <laughs> like real, t- <laughs> well, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You did it. You did it extremely well. Bro. Heavy yeah, is the man. head that wears the crown. Yeah, for sure. Most I definitely, that. that part. All right, so uh, he, he, I ain't gonna lie, the little nigga slick because we thought we was wasn't gonna have to talk about him no more. Ah. Boy, oh. Cole, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the Los Angeles Lakers are reportedly ready to offer a three-year, one hundred and sixty-two million dollar contract which will keep LeBron James on the team through the 2026-27 season. With a no-trade clause. Bryce James is eligible to enter the NBA in 2026. 2026. The Lakers just drafted Bronny James. Imagine LeBron playing on the same team with not one, but two of his sons. Y'all knew that was not Bryce, Bryce was- the one. So, you been said that you said that like a year and a half. I two said years that. Ago. On, on the pilot, yeah, I always felt like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him talking about that. The, the haters are going to fucking. They're going to. Oh my lord! I don't see why he would. What happened? Talking to the mic, bro. So I, 
I, I made a post. <laughs> it was something that I had received yesterday in regards to the LeBron uh, Lakers uh, oh, Mike posting. Uh, yeah. I mean, drafting. Spit it Robinson. out, nigga. <coughs> and the G the GM <laughs> was in a press conference. Supposedly, this is, I was told this was fake news, but it shows the GM in the press or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And he's telling why they bra- drafted Bronny. You know what I'm saying? He was like LeBron. Is we talking about one of the? Uh, and it, I'm, I was told it was fake news. Okay. So yeah. that's so, but so, le, supposedly, allegedly, LeBron told them if he did, if they didn't draft Bronny, he was going to uh, request for a trade to go to the Celtics and for a repeat, for a three peat. Say that. So that means to me, when he, in saying that, it, he was going to go to the Celtics for a two year deal. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. But. As soon as it comes on, it says, we just drafted Brownie, and it was fucking ne- nepotism. That's the exact quote. He would never say it like that. And it's off. The word, somebody put it in there over, over Secondly, the did you just see the contract the Boston Celtics just gave to Jason Tatum? Where do they have right. the money to I offer LeBron to James that. a contract? Exactly. Like, so they you maxed gotta, out. You got you to gotta weigh the options there, and then, you know. Exactly. I don't, I'm not going to disagree with that, but... You got to think at the bigger picture what one, what we don't think a person would do, they just very well could do. You got to think at the end of the day, he's going, he's trying to solidify some shit. Dude got the cheese. He definitely he got the cheese. He going to it. That's a younger team. It's all about so his So would, he wouldn't have to really do too much of nothing if he did go to the Celtics. It's all about the unfold in L.A., bro. L.A. got the bread. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, to LA waste. L.A. really ain't got the bread. L.A. got the bread, bro. And then year. influence any team that'll pick him up, like, hey, you know, me and both my sons will come play right. for mm-hmm. you. They about to ride so that out. I can see that. When Bronny signs don't be the deal, he'll probably have an op- a player option for that year, too, where he can opt out if he wants to. Facts. So they can all go wherever. These niggas mm-hmm. about to be the, 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 the Mannings of the NBA and shit. <laughs> They about to be the baller brand of the NBA. Like what uh LeVar did. Le- LeVar, yeah, yeah. LeVar but on a way yeah. on a bigger, bigger scale. scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. LeBron, he LeBron went hard for his boys. <laughs> they about to do some. Hey, LeVar did his thing. He almost got three of his boys in the league. Yeah. yeah. Facts. He went hard for them boys. Dude was stealing. That's crazy that something like so the small younger, like that could really affect. Lamelo. Mm-hmm. Hey, I buddy. like him. Yeah. He way better than I like the brother. one that's steel too. He cute. He <laughs> Leangelo. I like the one that's steel too. He fine. <laughs> you like the one that's steel? Yeah, he fine. What's up? Why do <laughs> Hey, but hold on. While we while we talk about Brian James, can we talk about Brownie? I'm sick of it. Y'all gonna get, get you gonna yeah, get Yago started. I, yeah, now nah, that's who I wanna holler at, man. Uh, <laughs> let's talk let's about talk. it. So I know you said you done, and I promise we could be done with it after this, Ooh. okay? Take a shot on this one. But so what's your beef for Bronny James, man? He ain't earn it. He ain't earn it? No. All right, so what what's your what's your you know, give me something more than that. How did he Bro, I'm not about to do this with you, beast. You gotta <laughs> did this multiple times here. All right, look, right? Do it, Miss C. All right, look, right. Come so anytime somebody projected to go to the NBA. When they in high school, what type of numbers do they put up? What's the what's the, Let's, the number answer one my pick. question? Don't what's answer it? my question with a question. Answer my question. All right, cool. It's usually like a above 16, 17 point average, usually with another high average in another uh category, like assists, rebounds, steals, right. blocks. Bronny averaged 14 in high school. Bronny was never – my beef with Bronny is he was never the best player on his team ever. He was never a dominant player. He didn't earn his way. Nigga, I know somebody right now that got the same stats as Bronny in Wayne High School, but he not going to USC. <clears throat> How many games did Bronny play for It don't USC? matter. He didn't play that many. Man. It don't matter. I, I, I sat here and broke all of them down, nigga. It was some of them he didn't score at all. All right, so – and play twenty minutes. Okay, Beasley cool. had him being here with him did this. Nah, so but I wasn't here. So get, so do this for me. What was his numbers before he went into cardiac arrest? 
Light trash. Her. Okay, cool. I've been following him since he was young, bro. But who's he to say that they was the wasn't... best player on his team ever? But he didn't have a chance to grow. Did he have a chance to grow or did he get hurt? He had a health factor. But I mean, hold on. Chuck, can you get, can you bring up a quick fact for me? <laughs> hey, how many people actually bounce back from cardiac arrest? Mm. Like, this is not just a common um, injury. How many, how many people? All right, after an injury, how many people just get thrown in the bucket? Like, trash. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody coming back but, for that. Okay, so how about, but what about this, though? I get what you're saying, but this man made it all the way to college. That happened in college. He's been playing basketball his whole life. So you're talking about he ain't got no time to develop. Most Look at the people that's getting drafted. These niggas been playing basketball their whole life. They got it. He don't. Facts. Ain't no excuse to this nigga talking about he ain't developed. You can't get. If he ain't developed, guess where he should have went? If he ain't developed, guess where he should have went? D League. Facts. G League. Facts. Now. Okay. okay. Yeah, all right. I, I, now, hear me, for another hear, me couple years. Years. hear me out now. No all right. So you're talking about G League like, and all this and that. Now, I'm going to go back years. to my very first question that Yago didn't allow me to ask because I was answering his question with a question. How many points per game did the number one pick of this draft? How many How many did he score? Bruh. What's his average? I don't care about Okay, cool. That, now you don't want to talk to I me, bro. So let me keep talking this. So I'm going to drive this point home. Bronny would have not got drafted had this not been one of the worst draft classes in maybe a decade, is what I'm saying. Now, y'all want to keep screaming about what his daddy doing, what his daddy doing. His daddy can't control that the whole draft class was fucking trash. The number one pick we've never heard of. He's from overseas. Who's the second pick? And he was 55th. Who's the third pick? So, so get me again. This is the second round. This is the second round. Of the NBA draft, <laughs> the 55th pick, and y'all are talking about only his daddy was able to get him into this. Or or how for about sure, he sure. guess what? He what's his what's his teammate name? He uh averaged 16 points for uh, USC. Guess what? Uh, what's his name? I don't know, but, he but yeah, he went undrafted because you know why? He had big, tremendous character flaws. Nobody would nobody did the research for that. This man smokes weed. This man openly smokes weed. This man openly carries top. he openly carries on camera like John Morant. He was hey, the biggest I'm hip to all that draft. shit. So don't none he, of that so shit got to do. Me. So did Bronny not did Bronny not play his cards right? Did Bronny not happen to be in just the right draft where his daddy maybe did have enough influence to get him in at a second round pick? All he that. didn't go top 10 He's not All lottery that. He's not even top 20 He didn't even make the first round But this ain't the I will give you that That's like <laughs> draft class They were talking about Bronny years before this happened but So the, the cards Obviously the because cards was being Bron- set, they, 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 Nobody know back then Five, three, four years In ago, high school The nigga was, was still a freakish He was still a freakish Athletic build Cause we was looking on When you what, What'd you say on Facebook yeah. Did anybody take a look At this number one draft pick And I'm like I'm like, wait a minute. I'm saying, man, let me check these highlights out because I don't even know. It was unwatchable. Yeah, I said, man, what the fuck is this? And that, again, that's granted, but uh, at at the end of the day, what you saying, to me, is not adding up to right, right now. (laughs) To me, talk about mm -hmm. development. What to me, what he's saying. Go ahead, Chuck. And that was Victor Wimbiano. No, that was last, mm-hmm. last year. This is this year's year. I'm talking about last yeah. year. But he was from France. Yeah, and then he, nobody know nothing about him before and until then. Yeah. Uh, Everybody, knew, Everybody knew about Wimbenyama. Now? No, he nah, had a nah, Nike deal he, before he signed he, to yeah. the Spurs. He's, he's Wimby. He's the next LeBron or whatever. And yeah, exactly. That's what they predicted him to be now. So yeah. everybody's Prior been watching him. Anybody him who knew basketball Duncan. saw Wimbenyama coming. Prior to yeah. him getting there, bro, how many people can actually say they knew of a lot of people. Trust me. Please take my advice on that, Scrooge, bro. He was huge. Huge. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The number one draft pick this year. Again, he was from France. He averaged 10 points. Nobody knows his name. His highlights was just about as bad as if you went and seen me play ball at the Y. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. They would you you heard more about Bronny than the person who was projected to go number one. And that was my whole beef. Mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, bro. 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 That was my whole beef, bro. 
and LeBron's his name is not involved in. Who's talking about this nigga? Nobody. Mm-hmm. This nigga would not make the draft if this daddy wasn't in the picture. That's the big He said, who's talking about this nigga? That's, what he, that's the whole point. This mm-hmm. nigga would not be the photo. Did he not he just do the same thing LeVar Ball um, did with his boys? Uh, so, again, yeah. nobody will be talking. The only the main person that anybody talks about is Melo. Lonzo, he got he, he He was blew up, but he didn't turn out to meet the expectations that was put on him. He's been injury prone his whole career. The hottest nigga out of the so ball. So what I'm saying is, is, is shitty ass team, and ain't nobody talking about that nigga right now. Me. Niggas that don't even have a highlight reel, you want to be talking about them, but you mad because they said, hey, that's LeBron James' son coming in. Guess what? They did the same thing to Jordan bum ass sons, but they couldn't make a team. Okay, listen. All right, yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. Be because this is an now. argument that's just going to keep going like this. Going it's going. Going. So, it's a beautiful debate. let me ask y'all a serious question. Like, I'll bullshit aside, though. With us all knowing how bad life is, can we really blame LeBron for the nepotism? Whatever you want to call <laughs> what this is, can we uh, really blame him for that? Hell no. Nah. I, I would put my son in the best position to win, too. So anybody not, would. You know, anybody would. Did we're you just, just say about the work ethic and what's and what's deserved as far as when people compare skills and talent and all that type of shit? That's what the argument what? really boils Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did, did Nino? Did you just say how? Wait. Wait. Time out. Nino, did you just say because how messed up life is? Do you blame? If you, you was like in a position, up, but no. What? Okay. What I'm asking you is if you you're in position, you're a fucking billionaire and you big dog in whatever area or expertise that you're in. And now your son is coming out of high school, and do you, I mean, how would you feel? Would you want him to, would you put him in that position to win? Do you not? That's what you do it for. That's what you go win for. Well, first of all, I pride myself in my son showing me, mama, I'm going to go do it. That's the type of son I got. No, nigga, you need to show me. I'm not going to keep spoon feeding you no show me that you really want want this you got to work right. hard just like how i had to didn't, work hard didn't he go make a college team didn't he have a, a possibly fatal heart defect and decided instead of saying hey i could just right ride my daddy life. coattails who a billionaire like like uh the other people do the day not like us race is I'm, that not I, is that not I, some I, merit I for that? I don't believe nepotism play a part. His, but it's, I, it's cool. His dad and them, I guess. His dad. Uh, we can't <laughs> listen. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, because I ain't saying I ain't really saying nothing. We can't act like because they're billionaires that they got money that they ain't raising him with morals and principles and work ethic, y'all. Don't you always give your kids something that you didn't have? Oh, that's I got all a question I'm, too, though. What if? You trying to push your kid to do it, and this is not re- what they really want to do. Because, but they're doing it because. Then you don't have to do it because you're LeBron James's son. You already got endorsements Yo, and all types. Your dad feels like, hey, I want to have a legacy. I got my boys. You got y'all gonna play some ball. But Bronny already that, got a Nike deal, don't he? No, that's not what he that don't. Do with the price Either way, they got money for college. He has and money. They can, yeah. He do whatever. You get nice and deal from playing basketball. You just missed my point. I'm saying, like, maybe that could, you know, play a part, too. Like, LeBron is all about, this is all about LeBron's legacy, period, y'all. That's all it is. He want to fulfill his and legacy. He's been, he's been but nepotism mm-hmm. does low-key kind of play a part because nepotism is when you can use your name. Okay, so look, I want to play this video for y'all, and I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. It's, it's in line with what we already talked about a little bit. You're not... Come on, Only nigga on these teams <laughs> was Phil Jackson not the coach? Michael Jordan won six rings. No one pays attention to the formula that it took for him to win. He never even sniffed a championship without Phil Jackson. Never even made it to the finals without Phil Jackson or Scottie Pippen. Why is he so great? LeBron went to nine finals in 10 years with several different lineups. No repeat player, no repeat coach during that span. Sounds like one person is really responsible for the success of whatever team they're on, and another person had a good run with the same niggas. What an awesome team that was. Was Jordan the only? 
Let's fucking start there. <coughs> Interesting point. Uh, that's cool. You can have all the talent in the world, bro. Like, does that really make you the best player? I mean, he ain't get nine championships. He just went to the to the finals nine times. You know what I'm saying? At that at that point, but um, and on Jordan, yo, like behalf, LeBron. I know. I'm not saying. <laughs> no, first not of you. All, not not uh, you. I'm talking about him. The way he just uh, looked when he said that. Who <laughs> said that? I'm not to cut you yeah. off, Arco. But if we gonna keep talking about facts, then let's let's, let's talk about facts. <laughs> but go ahead. I'll let you. I want but, you to make your point. Uh, on on Jordan's behalf, like, yeah, he had a coach that was able to put him in a position uh, tailored to his his ability. Like that's just. That's what a coach is supposed to do. I mean, like, it, everybody has a job. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, had LeBron have th- had that, you know what I'm saying, with other coaches, I don't know. Maybe we would have found out something else. But he just – what was that the case, really? Or, like, was he really the best? You know what I'm saying? Or did he just have a bad coach? Like, yeah, I believe he had some good coaches along the way. You know what I mean? But I think Phil, whatever. Phil played a part because, like, if you go back and watch that documentary – Jordan was so used to the last coach that was letting him have his way and not, you know, just trying to run about to the, you know, the hole and everything. He really was not trying to pass that ball, nothing. He wanted to be the star of the team. But once Phil came along, he started doing a play. I forgot what kind of play it was called. The well, triangle, the triangle the offense. Yeah. Yeah. Where everybody going to shoot. Everybody can touch this ball if they got an open shot. Jordan didn't like that at first, but he started seeing how that shit was working. And I think that played a part. No, you can't always be a ball hog. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know, unless you a one-man one beast like Allen Iverson that was on a fucked-up-ass team. But other than that, no, you can't be a ball hog. And I, I do feel like uh, Phil Jackson was very influential to Jordan. So, I'm going to say all these niggas had a formula. Because when LeBron couldn't get it done in Cleveland, what the fuck did he do? He had to go and remix some shit, put in a cup, and niggas was orchestrating how we can do this. And Miami wasn't the same exact team neither when they repeated. Couple of motherfuckers got up through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't no ain't no team that's won a championship had the same exact roster coming back that following <laughs> season. Some people had left. So it's never the same roster. Except them that Bulls three people. It's never really the the most impactful players that leave, though. But this is the whole thing, though. It don't got to be the most impactful player. It's the most impactful role player. See, the role players is what helps you win those championships. That's what I said. Everybody LeBron wouldn't job. have never won that championship against Golden State if it weren't for Kyrie. Let's keep it a thousand <clears throat> with that shit. What the Everybody fuck? got what, a what? job. Listen, bro. Everybody Listen. got a job. Everybody's Listen, job is bro, important, how bro. How the fuck does Kyrie make one shot and everybody's like, he what don't get mean, shit man? without this nigga? Bro, do you points. mean, do you, do, do we say, <laughs> Kyrie had 40 points, bro. He Listen. 40 <laughs> points? Listen. <laughs> but what I'm telling you, bro, did Kyrie ever make it to the playoffs before he teamed up with LeBron? No. He, he was a lottery team when he played for Cleveland. I ain't saying that he wasn't. My point I'm is, is okay, all right, but what I'm saying is, is now you say, that. no, what you just said was the only reason that he has a ring for that team is because of Kyrie, and that's fucking that. blasphemous, bro. That? All right, listen. Because that's the only time but let's, let's, we feel. Let's we can't, we can't escape. We yeah, we can't subject. escape. Yeah, okay, yeah we're talking okay, about, so hold on, hold on, wait, wait, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic, because we're going to wait. They, they both on one mic. <laughs> <laughs> what, we all, hey, they only got one mic. Like, we can talk later, bro, I think that was a low mic. That for they sure. They only was. got one mic. One. But listen though, you got to think. The first time that LeBron went up against them niggas, Kyrie was injured. Kevin Love was fucked up. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So LeBron had who he had and couldn't get the job done. The following year, you got Kevin Love. You got Kyrie, and these niggas came back and off a 3-1 deficit and beat the motherfucking 73 and man Golden State Warriors. Oh, my God. The proof is in the fucking pudding. <laughs> Don't do that shit. 
shit. And the only thing that I have an argument for is with LeBron. I'm not taking him away as a good player. He has he is a phenomenal player. I give him that. I give him a, he's a crybaby. But the only difference between him and Jordan, Jordan has a killer instinct. Oh you give him God. that ball, he's mm-hmm. dominate whoever's in he front take, of him. Hey, LeBron definitely. is not in his put in his <laughs> facts in the put. That's Don't a fact. Hey. You know, that's, 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 that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Listen to me. Okay, so in your face. Hey, in your face. Listen, LeBron if we are counting, if, if if LeBron has to count on other niggas for his championship rings, how many fucking rings does Jordan have without Scottie Pippen? That's not okay. The all right, 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 all right. That's the exact argument. Hold on. That was never the argument. That's a, that's what you live he with. Had, he had okay. a home. I'm saying. Okay. Just, okay. But that okay. that is what you live with. Every Stop it, Scrooge. Right. You, you was Let's you was go, doing y'all. good, man. You slow down. Every championship. You was doing good. All right, child. You killed the killer instinct. Bam. That's it. I just I just had one more. I just had one more. I just had one more. I promise. This the end of it. We'll never have to speak about do ever again. One more. One more. One more. One more. Oh my God. No, no, we don't. Because his dad is LeBron. Sort of the same reason you got into law school because you're dumb. And the only reason he would get drafted is because his dad is LeBron. Sort of the same reason you got into law school because your dad went there. You know how many people have asked me that I know through the years, can you get my kid an internship at Fox? Connections matter. They always have. LeBron can get $180 million max contract. If Brody got drafted, he'd make a million dollars in the second round. So essentially, you'd be paying LeBron 181 million, not 180 million. Dan Hurley's son, he's on the bench for UConn. Who cares? It's cool. Dad and son. Giannis's brother. Never had a start for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's on their bench. (laughs) If it gave LeBron energy and the Lakers sign him, Lakers have plenty of length. They could use athletic young shooters. Every time you drive down the freeway and you see a plumber's truck, you ever notice it's like Johnson and Sons. Oh, dad's (laughs) handing off the business. How are the Lakers owned? The dad passed away and gave it to his kids like i'm sorry but the same people outraged by connections are the ones that constantly seek getting their kids ahead through connections an internship here getting into a college they don't quite qualify for here yes it's the way the world works because let me tell you, mm-hmm. let this nigga get drafted or signed or booked for anything, nigga. I'm going to sit in the back. I'm going to shut the fuck up. And I'm going to enjoy the ride. God damn it. You hear me? Say, say that you need shit. some water, Diego? You need me to go? Hey, one thing about the player that went undrafted because he got, Bronny got drafted. Yeah. The point about him now is if he's so good that he deserves a spot, he's a free agent now. He gets to pick for him. I was going to say, not only did the Bronny Lakers pass on him, the whole NBA did. Now he gets to walk on. He's a free agent instead of being forced to go whatever team picks him. A lot of people <clears throat> have been successful like that, though. So, Facts. Fred Vliet, and he got a championship ring. He was undrafted. And he, that nigga in Houston, he was he was balling in Toronto. He in Houston balling. That boy, he good, though. That boy good. Uh, he a dog. I fuck with Fred. Yeah. He he never nice. knew nothing about him. I can't tell you what school he went to. Yeah, Fred Van Fleet. <laughs> can't tell you nothing about the nigga. All right. See, Brandy, that was that on that. That was that on that. that. All right. Great debate, (laughs) y'all. For sure. (laughs) Sure. A little exercise on the words. A little tongue wrestling. No daddy. What? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. (laughs) Niggas is funny, man. So, y'all remember when we had that talk and I was asking y'all if if y'all think we already had clone meat and all that shit? Yeah, yeah. Found something to go down a little bit further into that wormhole. Fly burgers and all kind of shit been going on. Mosquito burgers. Mosquito burgers. You will start eating meat printed by a printer. And we won't even be able to tell if it's real meat or not. This isn't a plot from Black Mirror. It's our reality unfolding. Here's why printed meat resembles real meat so closely. The 3D printers use special bio inks to create it. 
These bio-inks are actually made from stem cells extracted from different animals depending on the desired type of meat. Beef, pork, poultry, or even fish. In a laboratory, these cells then multiply, interact, and differentiate into the fat and muscle cells that make up bio-ink. These bio-inks are then intricately layered by specialized 3D printers to construct meat products that closely mimic the texture, taste, and nutritional composition of traditional meats. This is identical to real beef, and when it is ready and served, even the smell is the same. Scientists claim that by using this technology, the environmental impact associated with conventional livestock farming will be greatly reduced. So would you eat printed meat? Hey, bro. This is getting out of hand. Hey, imagine. Ooh. Hey, back to the gardens, young fella. Imagine, imagine like, probably like a hundred years from now or something. Somebody like, uh, somebody grandma like, baby, pass me that uh, lamb chop meat printer out the, <laughs> out the, out the, out the, uh, out the cover or something. Hey, I ain't gonna like, lie. Just like, I can't wait for that to come on my little Chinese website. Yeah, I order magic. all my what shit the, off of. <laughs> I'm like, God. like, boy, I got hella red buys over here. Pull up. This is magic. Oh, That's weak. terrible. He said, if you season it right, you never know. I'm no. like, yeah, I got back on the Cantonese, boy. That's that wish sound shit now. That's a wish sound. Hey. Hey, leave that meat bland, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> he got his uh, wagyu from Timu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> hey, they gonna fuck around and have the machine and shit. You know how you got the you can got the sprite, but you can order you can pick different flavors of that shit. So they gonna have the meat and then whatever. Just the pick flavor, whatever you cut, push, whatever fish, cut. whatever you gonna push the button. That shit gonna drizzle up and come serve right out to you. Y'all ever see any of them like futuristic shows like uh, Futurama or anything like that where they would press the buttons and the meal would just. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Or how about Back to the Future? You remember that uh, yeah. one where I remember that. they had a the microwave and a little yeah. small ass yep. pizza yep. and they yep. put it in. And it got big. They was oh, telling yeah. us something back it then. It was whole Pizza Hut mm -hmm. popping out. They've been the telling microwave. us all the time. They've been the telling time. us. Yeah. That they pizza did look good though. Yeah. Wow. Wowing. That, that look like cancer. I'm saying we about to go into that era of the future. You see what the cyber truck uh, and all that shit look like. Listen, they just printing it. They, they already printing it and serving it to how it. How can that be nutritious? Say bro? that, Black like, Jesus. How because, can that be nutritious? Because they taking the same cells from whatever animal and reproducing it in the tube, and then you gotta think the F, the ADA they all, yeah. they already approve of shit that ain't no yeah. good for us, no fucking way. So what makes That's you a fact. the only thing? It's just because they put their step. <laughs> We believe because they put their stamp of approval on it, they giving us some purified shit. Mm -mm. Nah, but if you well, go read those labels, right. it they, tells you they about what all over. coloring and whatever they have added to. You gotta read them labels <clears> too, I understand though. Understand that, but this is what I'm saying. And you are gonna be able to taste they, the fact that this ain't. They real know meat. the ADA. Whatever comes across their table. Food and Drug Administration. <laughs> right, but look though. So listen, the problem is, is they lied. Bro, they've been lying to us when they said, remember the Got Milk commercials? That was a lie. Milk don't help your bones. It makes them brittle. Mm -hmm. uh, remember the food pyramid? Yep. That was a lie. It yep. made everybody obese mm -hmm. and diabetic. So, like, I just want you to know, like, yep. what they tell you oh, is not good for you. Like, they they going to lie to you anyway. They going to lie to us about everything. What's up? Question. Mm -hmm. Like how they try to tell everybody go vegan. Growing mm -hmm. up. That shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Was fish meat? Was fish considered a meat? Yeah. Or was it considered <laughs> a poultry? Oh, poultry. Uh, poultry. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sir. You're right. Was poultry. it? Yeah. Growing yeah. up in the food pyramid, yeah. fish is considered fish a poultry, poultry, not it was meat. opposite of red meat. Mm -hmm. That's true. So when I told you, when I told you, it wasn't me lying to you, sir. That was me they telling you what these the folks lied to us. So, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> they, lied to, they lied to us. Yeah. Shit. So don't think I was lying to my brother. I told you what they, what told, they told me. me. My yeah, for sure. The brainwash. They, they, I'm gonna say they just be remixing it so many times, bro. Like fish is meat. It bleeds. It's lost in the <laughs> sauce. I learned that. I stand corrected. So if you on a fight, on a <clears throat> diet or a fast, don't think just eating fish and vegetables and shit <laughs> that you are <laughs> no you have been lied to my brother and my sister <laughs> repent now with me because i'm guilty too oh, shit. 
I need. I probably got to do a couple of fasts over. But why you say you hate it when we play these type videos? Because, oh man, listen, I'm one of those types. You start telling me about food, the air. I'm gonna be fucked up and living inside of a bubble. What? Tell me stuff like that because it bothers me. What's the name of that uh, documentary that everybody watching and make them stop eating meat? Food Inc. Is that what it's called? Mm. They like, bro. You watch this documentary, bro. Right. You'll never eat another. I'm like, well, and I know what I'm gonna avoid until shit, I'm ready to be woke. I want to ask you, who's to say McDonald's ain't doing this now? Because <laughs> do you really think all McDonald's, them, bro, all the fast how, food, my fault. Go ahead. Ahead. Wake up, like yeah, McDonald's yeah, and everything else that makes burgers, and how many across the whole globe? Like, you gotta understand, McDonald's is global. How do you have enough cows? And then let me ask you this: like, it's it's McDonald's in Australia, and like they known for kangaroo. I don't even think they got cows. I don't think they're they native to that kangaroo meat. <laughs> yeah, and hey, that kangaroo meat be fire. I thought that was rally burgers. Rally. 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 That's rally. Hey, hey, I know in the nineties, in the nineties, that shit said from Australia. Now I don't know how rallies was getting kangaroo meat, but they was, and that was your goddamn it, Big Buford's. I ain't gonna lie. They did taste a little you different. Used to fuck them. You used to Fuck bust them down. Bust them down. I ain't gonna. Hey, with the fries. Hey, used to bust them down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. But I, uh, to your McDonald's thing though, I had quit drinking milk a long time ago because I realized and understood and found out that that shit wasn't no good for you. We are the only species or whatever that drink milk as adults. Any other species or whatever, once they've hit adulthood, they do not drink milk. Any uh, on another note, not to mention this pussing out of the other shit in the that milk shit. And shit. You know what I'm saying? On, on another note, uh, once I started educating myself about you know uh, secret society and Illuminati and all that shit, and I started uh, finding out about the thirteen families and the M's and all that shit. What that shit into? Damn, he's in trouble. Look, 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 he like damn, damn bro, bro into this shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, McDonald's is one of the forefronts for them, you know what I'm saying, manufacturing human meat. So if you ever really tested, if you ever really ate some type of uh, burger or you ate like a heart, like a gristle or some type of shit like that, that ain't animal. Allegedly. You know allegedly. What I'm yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, for sure. But it's out there. Go on Google for research. research. I'm telling y'all to research the research. But allegedly. For their disclaimer and shit. Like that. It's you know what I'm saying. So that's why I don't eat McDonald's. They so if, all them missing kids. Yeah, uh, they did y'all hear that? Remember that old video uh, audio with the Jewish person talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, what Big was his facts. name? Like uh, Harry Finkelstein or some shit like that. I seen yeah. that video. But look though, so it's a uh, movie. It's a '90s movie called Soylent Green. I already talked about that. Okay, that's cool. And that's, yeah, that's pretty Ooh, much. That's yeah. like the formula that they follow on. Remember, I was telling you about the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I would, and it was in the year 2020, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Ain't that some scary ass shit? It was in the year 2020. Man, listen, they've been telling us we just been dumb enough not to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Y'all eat, we eat, we eat, we eat meat, people. Nah, that shit was meat when we was growing up. BZ, I told them these niggas like turkey ribs. When the fuck have you ever seen a turkey with that size of rib? That's a baby's rib. You, you, you're eating soil green. You're eating human they meat. Got us, they got us. We can't. We, 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 what's that? What's that shit? What's up? I'm a legal meat. immigrant. Can, uh, 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 person that eat people. Cannibal. Cannabis. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they I was trying not to say cannibal. <laughs> that's why I had to ask. What's the word? It was on the tip of my tongue. I couldn't get it out. No diddy. But yeah, no diddy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> This nigga didn't talk. He just nigga that fucked up everything. <laughs> Can't say shit. Why you up the TV this team up? No dick. You did that. You did that. Why y'all let these niggas team up? You did that. What did y'all put in that week? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, crap, All bro. righty then. <laughs> hey, bro. Quit, quit saying that in public. Get, they don't on. know what that shit means. Get, get hey, five. man, listen. I got people going. Yeah, quit saying that. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So listen, Jada Cheese and Des Dior weigh in on why they wouldn't date men who make less money than them. Did you build, build I want to hear from my sister, Randy. I have less than you, and you <laughs> Oh, why you saying low? I, I ain't hear you. You clean your throat. <laughs> I was, you said, <clears throat> yeah, you said, no. <laughs> No, I ain't hear you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, no. no I'm not. I, I have to have. I feel like 
Like, that's one of my... As a man, I feel like you just should have more than me. Like Yeah, because dating somebody that doesn't have more, they're going to try to make you feel less than yeah. as a woman. That's how I feel, genuinely. Um, mm -hmm. I know girls who are more dominant in the relationship as far as financial status, and their boyfriends try to dog them out just to make them feel like they're not that bitch, and I never want to be a part of that. But if I'm going to be in a relationship, I'd rather it be with somebody that I could actually, that could benefit me rather than somebody that's taken away from yeah. what I got going on. Because mm -hmm. these men that don't have the financial status that you have, they are going to try to just make you feel like you're not her. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I have plenty of friends that got hella money and they got a regular guy. So look, I'm going to say this and then we'll let you have the floor. I, no, I, I, I'm going to say this, I'm going to let you have the floor. Because I know it's about... It's about, it's about to be a minute. No, I, I, no, 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 no. I, just, I, I, I was going to wait. I just wanted to say something real quick. I just wanted to say something real quick. I can feel it. You feel it. I just wanted to say something real quick. I ain't about to take no time. I wish they would have asked her that question with a nigga like me and her. Go ahead. All I was going to say is <laughs> the fact that she feel like uh, financial status is the only way somebody can benefit with dealing with somebody is crazy. And then I'll let you. I had a floor. I just wanted to. Brandy, can you go start first, please? Uh, BZ wanted you to lead off. Okay. So I'll say this, this little small part, but then I'll get to how I feel. But on her behalf, I will say Jada has been a boss. She was a boss way before she met Lil Baby. You know, her people's came for some money, but this bitch was hustling. She had her own stores, boutiques, even when she was younger. So she always been a boss. Mm-hmm. So that was, let me just make that clear. Before her little baby, she was always a boss. But in my, cause no, I, I, I don't. Uh, I'm not about to be dating a man. I know I ain't working up in no dog on McDonald's and all that. I'm not about to be dating a man that's doing unless he a GM, assistant manager, getting that money. But other than that, I don't care about if I make more than him, as long as he he working. You feel me? As long as we able to put some money to the side and take trips and, you know, try to save up for a house, something like that. We paying bills, all that type of stuff, providing food. No, shoot. I just want you to be on my level, though, of the same. I expect which you see me doing. I expect that out of you, too. Basically. Yeah. So with you being a boy mom. Yeah. What is some advice you have for? For, for son, son. Yeah, because I mean, like, do you let him date girls that feel like that? I've been telling my son ever since he was three years old, don't bring no nothing ass bitch to my house. What, my daughter? Yes. And to this day, I can walk, I can call him right now on the phone, be like, hey, Jory, you on, you on the pod. Don't bring no what? Ha, oh, mom, no nothing ass girl to your house. Just call him. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you ain't never said no shit like that. She <laughs> and I always told you no. like that them, Mom, leave me alone. Oh, I always mind. tell them to, and she can never love you if she don't love what? Who? Your mama. Because, nigga, I ain't never. No, don't bring no nothing ass, bitch. Hold on. Hold on, wait. Really you. Huh? I'm a, I can, I'll call my son. <laughs> I mean, I, I really wanted you to call him, but you don't have to. I, I, ain't no shoot. Ain't no ducking. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no ducking. <laughs> Nigga, say it. <laughs> what I say. <laughs> what I say. What I say. What I say, I say. Put it in the mic. I, I should have had you call him off my phone so he could have been here. He probably wouldn't have answered. Hello? Joy, what you doing? I'm sitting down. You on a podcast right now. What have I always told you since you was a little boy? Don't bring no nothing what? Bring nothing ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, round of applause for, hey, for, you, for Jordan. No, baby. what's up, Jordan? Hey man, listen. Okay, then, yes, that's sir. my baby. They thought I was Captain son, and I said she can never love you, and she don't love what? My mom. Then oh shit! Hey. Thank you, baby. I love you. All right, bye. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I've been telling that ever since he was three. They like, why you keep talking to this boy like he a grown adult? Cause I'm not about to say goo goo ga ga. He gonna understand me. Fuck that shit. <clears throat> but, but what I'm, if what if mom don't love her back though? 
Listen, I know it's he grown. Listen, he grown. He got to be a man. Hey, she gonna Jordan got to have a life too. <laughs> she gonna love me. His girlfriend right now. She buy me Mother's Day gifts and everything. She gonna and she call me mom. She, Cause I'm not gonna get in between y'all bullshit. You feel me? Ain't no. Oh, mom, no, don't tell her I'm here. No, I'm not getting into that shit. When you wrong, you wrong. And when you right, you right. But if he's not here, he's not here. <laughs> you still got to be mom dukes. Yeah, like, you got to help I'm P.O.P. Mom, my life. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you, <hold> it <laughs> you still, you got to be, you got to be one of them real ones. He was supposed to say girl. I, he said bitch. I'm going to beat his ass right now. Hey, man, he done graduated, yeah. man. Yeah. You yeah. 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 And he on pod. You ain't about to look. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't about to look. Yeah, you ain't about to look. Nah, you ain't. You said he was on pod, so you got to make God. Yeah, he cussed. He thought he was supposed to talk shit. Yeah, for sure. He seen the show. On, you put him on the spot. I'm in so you, so you can't, you can't get mad at him. Whoop your ass, boy. I'm you can't get mad at him. I'm spot. telling you, Dad. <laughs> hey, it's funny. Her. It's funny because as she was telling us, she ain't even cussed with it, though. No, I'm I, weak. I, I really always said, don't bring She thought he was going to say, girl. He said, bitch. Oh. He said, mom, what's oh, my oh, favorite word? He heard he was on the pod. He said, this is my moment. Oh, for sure. I'm going to beat you away. Next topic because he going to bite like a He said, you said, don't bring no nappy-headed, dirty, trifling, skank slut. Trifling oh, bitches in your house. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna whip his ass. <laughs> you embarrass me. Now he held it down like Not a real sure. one. He was supposed to say bitch. <laughs> New Jersey man charged with attempted murder after flying to Florida to attack his mm -hmm. online video game rival mm -hmm. with a hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scrap! Mm -hmm. We pulling up, nigga. Dude got us fucked up, nigga. We on internet beef, boy. from an online altercation. Mm -hmm. The suspect flew from Newark, New Jersey to Florida, apparently to confront the victim in person. At approximately 2 a.m. yesterday, our deputies responded to a call at a residence in Fernandina Beach Regarding a physical altercation between two individuals, upon arrival, they discovered a significant amount of blood in the entryway of the home in the victim's bedroom. The victim's stepfather reported being awakened by screams for help. When he went to see what was going on, he found his stepson on the ground, struggling with the attacker who was in possession of a hammer. The suspect was identified as 20-year-old Edward Co. Kang. And this is his picture. He's Chinese. Co. Kang? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's he, he Chinese, hey. too, so you know it's like K-O oh. space oh. K-A-N-E. <laughs> Mr. Co. <Cole> Kang. <laughs> With a hammer. Hey, hold on, wait, listen. I bet they was playing 2K. Hold on, hey, no, stop. Nah, it was Shut Call up, of Duty. Man. It was Call of Duty. For sure. Hey, new guy. Don't step on my moments. <laughs> <laughs> what so, game were they playing? Fortnite. Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> They was playing Fortnite, bro. <laughs> I'm GTA. You think? Yeah, I say GTA. Co GTA. Mr. Cocaine was on GTA. Uh, they sold that nigga. Wired too. I bet you. You see his face? I wanted to kill people. That nigga got that heat. Yeah. That nigga got that Jackie Chan over there. The fuck you talking about? Listen, my son be upstairs on his PC, and sometimes when they be on there getting off on him, this little nigga be like, nah. Oh, oh, I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, where, where you? hey man, listen, <laughs> I, got I wouldn't be surprised if one day this little nigga don't run down the stairs, grab my keys, and run out the door. <laughs> I, I, got a nigga IP <laughs> I got a motherfucker whose whose kid is on that shit, and they didn't been banned. They didn't got. They didn't been knocked off the shit like three, four, five different times, bro. Cause he be on there cussing them motherfuckers out, going the fuck off. That shine, mm -hmm. shine was out, damn near off the game for damn near a six piece. What was you about to say, Chuck? So they were playing a game called Arch Age, and it looks like it's an RPG game. And oh. 
Oh, this gosh. This is an RPG game. I want to know how this dude drove all the way, flew all the way to Florida or whatever and showed up with just a hammer in his inventory. He probably a YouTuber. <laughs> if he got that serious, <laughs> hey, he if he got that serious, <laughs> dude a YouTuber. <laughs> Do the YouTuber. You got to think, though. You <coughs> can't talk shit to me and say certain... See, that's the problem. People think you can say whatever, and just because there's a distance, you're safe. I won't fly and beat no. you with a hammer. If we're in the same city, <laughs> if it gets that serious, if we're in the same city, I'm pulling the fuck up and with the intent to cause a fire. If we are miles apart and it gets that serious, I am flying. <laughs> to destroy <laughs> some shit. No, Scrooge. No. Hey, you this nigga never. That's why you don't need to be on the Exactly. Fuck exactly. That's why you don't need to be Three hours away just because somebody put you and your How team the in the dirt. Oh, team, oh, team on a team on team death match. Game, bro. So oh, again, we game. don't know crazy. what was said. <laughs> you you in certain things, you in certain lines and boundaries, you can't cross. Wait, hold on. Listen, let me ask you something, bro. So you tell. Hold on. Wait. Let me ask you. Let me ask you something. Did you see Mr. Cocaine? <laughs> but you can't <laughs> Man. You gotta take into account you gotta take in all factors when we're talking about these situations. Do you know do you know do you know, do you know, do you, know you don't actually even have to listen to that person listen, while you're playing that game? Then you gotta mute. But let button. me ask you something, bro. All of that. Listen, like you can it's provided, I, but I have a question, bro. You know I have a question for you. I got a question for you. Hey, you ain't even gotta listen to dude. Like, so you I telling me provided there's, there's something that there's something that somebody can say to you that you don't know from a can of paint over a headset that will make you put <laughs> take these off, <laughs> go to the airport. <laughs> he didn't buy the hammer till he got there. You stopped at Home Depot. Or Lowe's. Got the hammer. Then you gonna go to somebody's house and beat him. So in today's world, what you on, said wait, is wait, absolutely wait, right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never wait a minute. buy this nigga. No to, type what, of game shit. With me today? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what about at 20? What, what, what about when you was Mr. Cocaine's age? Pop. That's different. Pop goes the no, weasel? Sir. Is that what you was no, about? Because no, I might have. Hey, oh, hey, this hey, hey respectfully, I, bro. Possibly. possibly <laughs> but you I said the say, wrong shit to no. me when I was 20. I would say no. Hey, I might have been on the flight. And, and, the only re- and the only reason is because I was at a certain, page of, a certain stage of my life where I was, uh, I was on a transition. Nigga, you of, got 187 tied on here. Yeah, oh, shit. Okay. You really? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> damn, damn. Hey. damn. That's that's crazy. The he things crazy. that make you go. So with that being so with that being said, like, again, one's mental state, you don't never know where they're at, what they do with. And so, again, if it's something... Screws, you are fucked up if you're about to drive somewhere because somebody pissed you off over the goddamn man, video listen. game. Okay. JC, a years are ago, you with I me? I didn't even like to... Nino, uh, tell me if you remember this. A couple years ago, right, I'm with my cousin. I ain't had nothing to do with the situation. I'm with my cousin real quick. I'm with my cousin. We pull up on some bitch that he's fucking who got a nigga. Mm. We pull up while she's in the car with her nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, cuz get out the car. He get the pop to the, he get the pop to the bitch. Whatever the case may be, the nigga get out the car. Okay, get the mm-hmm. pop in this shit to cuz right. Okay, mm-hmm. I get it out the car. I I what what he talking about? He gonna call somebody? I take the nigga. I toss him. Okay. Right? He talking about calling somebody. Get to shoot him. He stay in Trotwood. Okay. Hey, bro, I'm about to come and get my toy. Okay. Blow down there, all the way in Trotwood. Right. I'm in five volts. Okay. Right? So, like, Richmond <laughs> to, like, Wingate. Ain't so, how lie. much time? Brandy sound like one of them how detectives much time from is First that? 48. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to okay. prove a point. How much time is that? <coughs> from Richmond to Wingate. How much time is that? Nigga, I'm not, on, talk- the, about I'm not 15, on the highway. About 15. I'm going through lights. So one may have enough. That's enough time for one to really calm down and not even give and to to bypass. Like I ain't even gonna worry about that. No, it ain't. Not if you it's not. You talking about? So I went all the way there. You can't wait to get back still. And I went all the way back. No yeah. highway, lights, traffic. I held on to whatever it. I held on to that. Went to go and get some shit to go and fuck some shit up. 
What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? This is a motherfucking game. You talking about cocaine? You just asked this over the video game. You talking about something? You talking about something? It's missing with the person. If a motherfucker says something, let me holler. He never knew this dude. I'm never been in the same place. Listen, let me help you. I'm going to help you. All right, so what this nigga said is... He never been in the same place or anything with this dude. Listen, what he telling you is that he was at 20, he was willing to crash out over something very crazy. Now, listen... Lil bro didn't know that this nigga Eddie Kane was a cold motherfucker because I'm trying to tell you right now, whilst what you said was crazy, that's a little 15, 20 minute drive and then 15, 20 minute back, bro, that's not a flight from goddamn it, New Jersey to Florida. Then this nigga got off the plane, was like, you know what? I got to go get me a weapon. I don't know what this nigga looked he like. He was set and determined to But do can it. we talk he even more about before he game. even got the plane ticket, this man had to trace his IP address to locate hey. this nigga. Like, bro, hey, Eddie Kane is a cold motherfucker and he deserved to be behind bars because what? He crazy. Sound like Eddie Kane got a special set of skills. Yeah. Hey, Eddie Kane <laughs> about to get hired by the CIA. Be surprised yeah, if you he hear about be... Eddie Kane ever again because he about to be going fuck niggas yeah. up, bro. Don't, 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 they going to fake his death and he yeah. going to become a Hey, assassin. straight up. Yeah, he what? They have that CIA's overseas. finest. All right. So... Are y'all familiar with Tyler, the, the artist? Mm hmm. Make, Make me, me water. I thought it was Tyler. It's Tyler. Tyler. I'll be messing up her name. Make me Make water. Me water. It's, okay. So hey, it says, We friends, though. Sexy Red had a better year than Tyler and deserved to win the best new artist at the BET Awards 2024. Fans engaged in online debate on who deserved to win best new artist at BET Awards. Somebody says, Sexy Red losing Best New Artist is one of the main reasons BET is not a thing in the culture anymore that we give a fuck about. In what world did Tyler have a better year than Sexy Red? They do shit like this and wonder why them views be low. Somebody else said, this lady rapped about her booty hole, gang. Come on, let Tyler win in peace. <laughs> and somebody else said, and Tyler sang about getting her coochie wet. That's the same mm -hmm. person. Ah, oh, okay. Bet. So, what do y'all think about that? Mm. I agree. I feel, on, I, I, I feel like, uh, and I'm not a sexy red fan. Uh, I, I heard lyrics are so, anywho, and the ty what's her name? Tyler. Tyler. Mm -hmm. Tyler. I know that song. But I can't tell you nothing else from Shorty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with do with all due respect, due to the work ethnic and what and what's who's been producing more, I know more about Sexy Red than I do her. You know what? So I would give her I, I would give her that. But outside of that <laughs> sexy, sexy Red. <laughs> outside of that, I couldn't I couldn't. Did you just try to Drake me? No. No, for real. You so, know you mess with a sexy red. She ain't really ugly, ugly. I ain't never I think, said she wasn't ugly, uh, but she's she, she's an average bitch to me. <clears throat> and she ain't really and like I don't want that. I fuck matter her. Fact, go ahead, B. See? I'll let you That's speak. That's it though. See? I'll let you speak. She worth a nut. Let me but holler at y'all real quick, man. See? All right. So I was saying, who this girl says? Here's the problem with that, man. Me. Sexy red, y'all, y'all ain't known outside of the United States. Tyler? Is international. I want y'all to know that. Okay, so I didn't know that. So that's that. Let's I'm start there. Sure some some Europe motherfuckers. Let's know start some sexy there. Red. I'm pretty sure them UK they they. Hey, well, guess what? They ain't vote for her ass. They voted for Tyler. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so so that's what I'm saying. I think we get caught up in the fact that oh man, she big in America, but you like think Tyler's about, not from America. Yeah, think so. about her music. Journey. And listen, mm. the, <laughs> you gotta also think about it too. Awards ratings have went down. Don't nobody want to watch that shit for real no more. Quality is. We'd yeah. rather go on YouTube and watch the chopped up performances and shit. Yeah, that's and what I did. Trying to watch, that's what you know, I did. The, the getting awards presented and sitting through that shit. Mm. That shit over. But the, the ratings problem, that went. The problem the is, kids is ain't about to watch that shit. They treated that shit like a popularity concept. Because if we speak in straight talent, like come on, Tyler is light years better than fucking sexy your ass. Mm -hmm. Sure. Why are we comparing them? I don't think, yeah, I was about to say, rapper. not only that, but their styles is different. That's like trying to compare. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's like, but if you was going to say Shaq and Kobe, like, yeah. damn, no. one's a big man, one's they a shooting guard. Yeah. Or like, uh, fucking 
Beyonce to Missy Elliott. But like, do, that's what just you two doing? <laughs> what you doing about Sexy Red is kind of like what the oldest niggas did to Soldier Boy. That's how I look at nah, Sexy Red see, like the female Soldier Boy. When you listen to her that's music, what I'm saying, her she style, a trendsetter mm. for the women. Like she the new wave of women of sound and music. Like. Oh, like it fucked. or not, but I feel like that she, she has her own like. I'm genre. not trying to take anything away from Sexy Red. I just want people to understand that Sexy Red is big in the U. S. But Tyler is big here and another place in Africa, Africa, and I want to say um, South America. I'm not really a fan of her like that, but I mean that's what I, I said. Knock her. I just yeah. know that that West song, and I got tired of fucking hearing it. TikTok. But I love, I I'm like a, the song. I do like the song, but I got tired of fucking. When when you say when you say sexy red is a uh, soldier boy, I I can I I, I think so. And I thought that when before. he first came, because if you mm. think about it, his career when he first came out, dude was hot. He got the popping with Gucci. He had little features with Gucci and all them and all that type of shit. But then after that. It just seemed like, dude, whatever it was, dude just went on a downward spiral and never bounced back from that. That's cap. Nah, he's I'm still one of them niggas. He's still, he's still he's one of them up. niggas, bro. He, 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 he stay. You got to think he's completely independent. He's independent. Listen, I, whatever money he's generate, generating is fine. Whatever. I'm not knocking that. I'm talking about his career rap wise. career. Oh, the rap career. career. Is shit T. And nobody's really banging that nigga. That's now, crazy. whatever other Did you see him at I'm the verses? S- huh? Did you see him at the verses? He got, he hey, got, say he got he a real jumping. catalog. Say he wasn't jumping for he real. He got a real, real catalog. catalog. He been in the game for a minute, so of course he got a catalog. Bro. I'm just saying, bro. You missing what I'm saying, brother. I, I mean, Today, you say, so if he dropped a song When you right, say his music so career is shitty, like, that's your shit. That's your shit. Are you Ricky Morton? Rick. Hey, is that your Ricky shit? Ricky Morty. Is he you gonna you gonna pull up banging Ricky Morton? Yes or no? No. Okay. Hey, but listen though. That's one but song, listen bro. though. Hey. But listen though. You, <laughs> this nigga's career to anywhere you go got, to this the day, they still playing Superman. Ooh, Man, like, you're missing, you're missing. you no, no, no. Listen, what I'm saying. I fuck. I, I don't agree. Was, I ain't missing. You, it. Okay, he bang, they banging this old shit. It's a banger. Kidding, ain't nobody really banging no new Soldier Boy, bro. Hey, ain't gonna lie. Soldier Boy right. was the first rapper to play his All I was his saying hit was, song. Ten times repeatedly. So again, <laughs> what I'm getting at is this: Before he's Kendrick. hot right now. No, no, no. He was hot he, then. He was what I, all I'm and saying so he is, he was still. Not. Not gonna be so not she's not gonna be nothing. Uh, he was still so dropping heat first. all the way six, till six, damn six, near six, six, recently. Six, six, six. He'll still come with a banger damn near every year to about Make 2017. Clap, clap, clap. You hear me? When did he come clap, in with it? Clap, 2017. That was a banger. She make it clap. Clap. That wasn't even 2017. That was sooner than that. Like, that's the one that. Uh, yeah, that was, was like damn like, near like, pandemic the, during the versus time. Yeah, hey, this was yeah, like yeah, in, right, during the pandemic. See. Yeah, and I was like locked a, up, so I can't. Whatever, y'all got. That's when versus was the biggest. Y'all got the up on me. When we during the pandemic time. Come on, because didn't Nicki Minaj put a verse to it and he played it on the verses? Dre, I think I think and French Montana too. To me, that yeah, was a respect on that. That's the last song that, that was, was a, that was somewhat that I like, banged was this his song. song with Drake. That nigga, we made it. That was the last song that I would have banged from Soldier Boy. Yeah, when that come out? That was like 2016, 2017. Yeah, see? Exactly what I'm saying, my nigga. <laughs> exactly what the fuck Bro, I'm this saying, is my nigga. 2024. That's seven. I'm saying, no, years. listen though. I'm saying look how that's long a song. Of, look how man, that's look how much of a span that is. He was dropping shit with Nicki Minaj. He was uh writing people shit. He was uh dropping beats and shit, bruh. You tripping, don't sleep if on somebody something. somebody else more. is making great music and getting views, if for him ghostwriting, so be it. He we talking about when too. this nigga get on the mic and you hear his vocals. Nigga, kiss me through the phone. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey. 2007, 2008. Hey, it's a banger. I'm not just. I can rap. Look, I can rap every right, word. Or wake up. At a so day. look, I'm right. Yeah, yeah, in that. So, so look, no, hold up. From 2007 to 2017. How did we get up? 
How is we arguing about y'all missing? Y'all still missing what I'm saying? Nah, because you're trying to dis because you're trying to discredit a goat. I'm not discrediting anything. I said when he first came in, he was hot. She resembles Soldier Boy. You're not begging nothing really. Hey, hey, hold on, wait, stop, 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 bro. Listen, let me ask you something. I got a question. I got a question, bro. Scrooge, hold on, listen. I got a question. I got a question, bro. I got a question. Can I ask you a question? Scrooge. 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 I got a question. Why you hating on me? I got a question. Why you hating on me? I ain't did nothing to him, but count this money and put my team on and my host. Boy, what's up? I'm yeah, you tripping Soldier Boy, that nigga. So the same credit that you giving Soldier Boy is you're giving those same flowers to motherfucking uh, pink, uh, sexy. Man. <laughs> he was about to call her pink pussy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's up with you? That, that's Pop that's goes the weasel. That's 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 the that's that's that. If you compare, oh if you saying God. that she's a Soldier Boy, the same flowers that you giving him, and you saying longevity. Only or reason. Or whatever, only reason. Listen, hold on, wait, stop, 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 stop. No, okay. she she makes that, the though. same genre of music when I say that. Yeah. Soldier Boy, he pretty much produced all his own music, all of that. He get kicked back for that forever, ever, ever, ever. Sound like they making it's a machine behind Sexy Red. It sound ghetto, something like they making in the basement, still on Fruity Loops Eleven, yeah. and yeah, like she's she's hood. He. Uh, they not they don't rap about shit, but it's just catchy. <coughs> so in the way, yeah, she's mm -hmm. kind of like. That's why she, he was in that video. Mm -hmm. She did the whole little dance. Ricky Morton ass nigga. That's crazy. What year was that? 07. So yeah, from 07 to 17. That's 10 years right there. That's a hell of a. Span. He almost had a 20 piece. Pretty boy swag. Hey, hey. Pretty boy swag. No, I'm saying. Hey, no, I'm saying. But you said. I didn't say he ain't dropped no bangers. But all you right. said it was all at the beginning of his career. Like, he, he just he came out. That's not what I said. That is what you said. That's not what I said. <laughs> I hated that song. That is not what I said. You said that, bro. You see how... That listen, think about it. All new artists are very what? <laughs> Consistent. Facts. They're dropping. Mm -hmm. He was banging. Mm -hmm. She's going to die off. Possibly. She's going to die off. Most likely. Everybody do don't have longevity, bro. That nursery, she's more, she's more nursery rhyme than him. And my how, long whole, you, how long you give her? Within the next two, three years, I don't think she's going to have the same buzz right now. So you and I say the same thing be. about Boss, uh, Boss Man d -Lo. I feel the same exact way. I listen to style of rap. I listen to all of that shit, bro. And I don't think Boss man I don't already think, I don't think for real. I don't think motherfuckers yeah. gonna have a longevity like that. And Skilla, baby. I don't blame them with today's climate. Real talk. What today's climate? They hot right now. We I don't so blame them. because everybody you didn't banging them. Get your them. money and invest it. That's and that, but because the everybody banging them. So okay, they in your face. You think they going all right? But for real, for real, let's think about it. A couple years from now, who's gonna really be banging these niggas besides the shit that they came out with? If they don't come out with another banger. Oh shit! Yeah, crazy shit. It's gonna come up on the. How that Please happen? get these. <laughs> <laughs> How that happened? Aladdin and shit. Oh niggas bonkers. Yeah, like uh. That's all I said. He a nursery rhyme ass nigga. She a Russian a nursery rhyme ass nigga. And as right now, she's she's projecting just like as he is. But I don't think she's gonna last. She's not. She's not writing nobody's shit. He, like you said, he's independent. He got his own bag. She's not in that caliber. I don't she's, she's about, like that literally. No she's about to die. That era off. of music is over. Get in, make I your really bread, do, make yeah, some investment. That era because mm -hmm. everybody like the wave changes so fucking much. Mm -hmm. It changes so quick and so fast. Everybody thought drill music was gonna keep being the wave. Now everybody's tired of hearing all that killing and smoking on these niggas that we don't even and damn know. It's not tiring. And the Who's way she's in her music, this bitch gonna have AIDS, herpes, goddamn it, uh, uh monkey pox. So she gonna have all. She gonna have everything on a man. <laughs> I ain't tired of hearing. I ain't, I ain't, gonna lie. I ain't tired she of hearing. He keep this thing with a banger, boy. Yeah. Hey, I ain't keep it. It was all right, but for a lot of that, that, lot that shit sound like he on Fruity Loops Eleven too. But mm, I fuck with Chief Keef. Speak for you. Hey, <laughs> listen. So just we talking about album drops and shit. I thought this was funny. So I had a rider in the back of my truck the other day, right? All right. Older lady. I'm listening to uh, I'm probably Man in the Mirror or some shit. She gonna say uh. 
you know, Crazy Bone just dropped the album, and I just thought that shit was I'm so done. funny. Uh-huh. I'm done. I don't know why I thought that shit was so <laughs> funny, bro. But it's like, and I'm like, ah, oh, for real? She was like, yeah. Crazy so, <laughs> so for shits and giggles, I, I turned it on. <laughs> and he, he got a gospel album. That ain't funny. And that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and listen though. And that motherfucker wasn't bad though. That's what's up. I ain't gonna lie. I was in that motherfucker like, all right, lady. I mean, as soon as she got out, I turned it off. <laughs> but so messed up. I entertained. It wasn't bad. But I just thought it was funny that out of all the people, people Ray still be checking for people still be checking for people. Like I mean, everybody got a fan. Did you have to fans, did right? you have to end it with that she turned it off? Yeah, yeah mm, fucked mm, up mm. for that. What? Man, listen. The real shout out to Bone Thugs. I could. Shout out to Cleve. I just thought that shit was so funny. I think <laughs> they on a reunion. They got something people. going on, too. Like, Who? I think they got some type of reunion thing going on. or planning or some shit. Who? All right. I ain't going to that. Listen, before we go, I want to talk about this before we go. We still got some, cl- some time on the clock. Let's get to this. Um, Rick Ross. Out in Canada, <laughs> out at a show, out thinking shit was sweet, was playing that motherfucking uh, they not like us, and then next thing you know, what 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 what? Hey, fuck you up. So, Terry, <laughs> <what's up? laughs> Terrence is like, Hey, bro, I'm do my stuff. Hey. <laughs> Why did y'all see any of the remakes of that, like Skinbone and them and shit? Uh huh. Yup. Lord have mercy. Bro, Skinbone. I ain't seen that. I ain't see that. Drosky. Uh, damn, what's little dark skin homie name? Desi Bass. Desi. Yeah. They're my top three right now. I can dig it. He really thought shit was sweet over there. Why did this? You ain't got no. Huh? Why wouldn't you? You Rick Ross, he has security and everything. <laughs> they been playing Fire that song security. over there anyway. Well, people Man. was already too close. They been playing Fire that song security. over there anyway. Right. You know how I many TikToks I ain't Bounce. seen Canada playing that song? No, I seen some little nigga walking down the street rapping and fucking it up, but Bounce. Rick Ross played it. It didn't go like that for him. Rouse. They played so. Bounce. They punch Rick Ross first. I'm not gonna hold y'all niggas. Like <laughs> I was shocked when I seen it. Like I couldn't believe it. Like yo, they really slid for Drake. Why? <laughs> why he get on the plane that's the, that's the, and start laughing at it? Like he because you had to. Because so, the, the white boy. Got that's what I was about to say. White boy got to sleep. But look, nah, for real though. At first, I ain't that's gonna lie. Up. I did chuckle a little bit because I'm a fucked up individual when I seen it, but. Then I started like watching it and digging deep and watching other. Nah, man, those was two white boys that did that. And two they niggas were from Degrassi popped out. Two, 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 two Degrassi classmates it was popped white, out. So two white boys, and they was talking, nigga, 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 all in that dog on video. That was two white dudes. They made it to me in my. It made it in worse Canada, for, Drake for real. In Canada, that's. Uh, oh, what, what made it worse for Drake? Because they was dropping the N word. That didn't make it man, worse. Man, too white. That, that made, made it worse for Ross. Right. Man, it's funny. Mm-hmm. 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 The white boys mm-hmm. kicked his ass right. out there. Right. <laughs> right. They ain't getting no, they ain't get no fuck about okay. the beer, yeah. the security. Crazy, that's how they felt in carpet classes. Because listen, that's why I make it funny on Ross because he called him white boy. Oh, yeah. bro. And it was two white boys. Mm-hmm. I'm going to punch you in your shit, mate. Now, oh, that bro, makes bro, it worse for Ross. That's why. I'm you still messy. Y'all hot. So you don't no, like white boys, do you? I'm saying that's what makes oh, that, that it was too. Oh, yeah. The he irony in boy. him getting punched on <laughs> by some white boys. Because he called Drake white boy. Boy, Chad and this Butler. Is how we do it in Montreal. Right. That's it. Yeah. like, damn. Ain't no he's, way, he's bro. You can't own nah, They bounced his ass up man, out of there. No Did y'all man. see Rick Rouse's baby mama, bro? I hate that tongue. Oh, thing. my God. Do it again. She be fried. <laughs> she be tearing up. She be fried, bro. <laughs> hey, she said, she she said Ross fried, got bopped. <laughs> Security got <laughs> knocked. <laughs> <laughs> Lex got dropped. Damn. He's an ass whooping Willie. The crew Willie. got stomped. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him ass whooping Willie. <laughs> <laughs> she be letting that be. He, <laughs> he should have hey, never stopped bro. it for, that, for her son. Hey. He kept a hold of her. 
He should have never stopped paying for their child. Killing yeah. this one. He scorned that bitch. Bruh. Yeah, he did some, yeah. He did some tremendous. Cause she things. put out a book on G Unit books and all types of shit he about dude. that bitch move her tongue like a snake. Unforgivable, and she like <laughs> fuck this nigga forever. Mm -hmm. I never. Damn. Between them oh, porcelain I teeth, never wanted that bad was. She got the donkey ever. teeth. I think that's the reason why she waved her tongue like that, cause she want Ross to remind. She want to remind Ross like you bought these. <laughs> mm. She taunting him with she the tongue. She, she do be moving that tongue, too. Boy. And He's always had that. <laughs> <Yeah. man. laughs> His first baby mama tongue. was like, straight up, like, let this nigga 50 take her out on a shopping spree on camera. Like, come on, bitch. Or that's Tia. That's a that's porn, her. too. That was Tia. That's Who was okay, my now, that's a different baby mama. The that's porn right. was a whole different baby mama. I know. Mama. I'm saying. I oh, said that porn. She got cashed out, yeah. too, behind that. What? Yeah. Oh, She's still man. sitting off of that. She's still sitting off of that. Yeah, that's crazy. Did we go over the gunner topic last week? No. Nah, but go mm -mm. ahead. That's it, and we up out of here. Anybody got a, right. a pick of the song to go out to? Anybody? Any? I'm going to go get me some. No? Up. All right. Nobody gets Same loves this week. It's time to watch hell. I'm still providing, like, we still pushing, like, no paperwork has been changed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, whatever's been getting and how we've been pushing this Bro, I know a fucking clone when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't dude. That ain't gunner. Damn. That ain't Sergio Rodriguez. Man. That's a uh, printed gunner. Hey, <laughs> that's the hey, that's three D gunner. Three D gunner. Hey, that's three D no. gunner. Ain't no gunna fucking look way. Gunner looked good right there, but he said he off lane. Well. Let's see. That's what he looked like yeah, off lane. Now. Let me go Google what Gunner used to look like when he was fat. Yeah. <laughs> when he was fat. Yeah. I'm so serious. Shit, I think he I can listen to his album. I think I can listen to his album now. All clone and looks, <laughs> all clone and looks right alike, here. though. Like, how y'all feel about him still being signed that to YSL video. and he's supposed to be a snitch? He's Shit, nigga, you gonna keep making me this money while I'm in jail fighting this case. Bill Come still on, gotta get go. paid. Boom. Bill still got to get paid. Checkmate. I'm saying though, they like, both can't go down. I need to ben I, I still need to benefit off they of made it. Look yeah. good. Why would I let you go and think about yeah. if he would have cut him loose in the midst of this and he would have dropped that album with uh, "Back to the Moon" and all that other shit on it? Yeah, how nah, nigga, you about, to, I'm about, you about mm. to give me all that little money, young yeah, boy? Yeah. You tripping? So. Yeah, I would still keep him signed too. They made Kodak Black cologne look like him too, Randy. <laughs> Uh, I don't think you can clone no geek. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, Bro. that's crazy. That that geek is a clone. He said they ain't got that, the formula. He just got out, he he just got out tweaking. That, that nigga tweaking, bro. That nigga on ice. Uh, that clone got out tweaking, bro. That nigga on ice. They say he knew it was a fake, but he still ate it because he a gremlin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it. Wrong G word. Not a gremlin. He a geek. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga's a whole gig, man. He looked like a gremlin, though. That's yeah, the on there thing. He, bro, look like a real life grip. Like I after you throw the, the, the gizmo, the you throw the water on it and shit. Yeah, yeah. you feed him after twelve and shit. Ooh. I'm praying for you, Kodak. <laughs> Pray for Gunner too. <laughs> wherever, wherever that ain't the no old snitch. He said that's clone gunna meat. Gunner ain't no snitch. Like he said, and I believe he is still getting that money. He's still, like, getting that money for them. He's still un under uh, YSL. He ain't no snitch. I believe, I do believe, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Thug. It's like, nigga, man, we need you. Go ahead and just do this, mm -hmm. do that. Get but, out of here. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Thug's daddy still fuck with him and everything. Mm -hmm. Even the YSL page on Instagram still promotes his music. I mean, hey, I, that, because but, that money but, comes but, back but to YSL. I, but can I? But let's 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 really break this down, though, right? Mm -hmm. We in a new era where people fuck with snitches. So why are you why are you tripping about his daddy still fucking with him or thug fucking with him or whatever the fuck? Niggas snitching in the city and niggas get come niggas come home and niggas be fucking with the snitches. Mm -hmm. So just because the nigga got some money, what the fuck does that mean? This nigga by the coals of the street, this nigga he's told. Not an entertainer. He's not a by the coals of the streets, this nigga he's told. Not a rapper entertainer like like Brandy. Thugger. 
by the code of the streets, Talking baby. Street niggas. By the code of rapper entertainment. Listen, money. listen, listen what I'm saying though, but, but you portraying this street shit, and the people who are giving their opinion are basically people who are in the fucking streets or who listen, uh, hold listen, this. That's message. a whole fucking different bracket from us. We ain't gonna never understand how these millionaires and entertainers operate. That's not operate. the argument, love. He's a Can't fucking. You saying shit. he's not a snitch? Come and from the, the nigga is a snitch. Cannot compare street shit. You saying shit, he's not a snitch? The, the nigga is a compare snitch. These motherfuckers that are millionaires from entertainment or whatever that came from the money. Ain't they gonna going back. Where he came from don't fucking matter. Well, he's ain't a snitch. Gonna, I was rich snitches is all tight. Come niggas on, quit out playing. here in the streets. You might catch maybe a million dollar nigga, but out here in these streets, unless he the plug, it's some they rich, wouldn't it's always. They wouldn't always million dollar niggas though. And the plugs that they got knocked. Snitches too. It's rich snitches and all that shit. It's broke snitches, rich snitches. What are we talking about? We can't compare the streets to them. It's a different bracket. It's rich snitches and broke snitches. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I'm just saying it's a little different because they are like a snitch is a snitch, Brandy. Regardless how you dress it up, baby, whatever the fuck you want to put on him as a snitch. snitch I believe Thug said, "Man, go ahead and do this shit." Regardless of what he needs you to keep, if he's okay with it, we really. I'm about to say we really won't know that until the trial is over. Then, but if he's some of these white cell niggas would have came and got got that gunner, he's still gunner is still rich. He's still rich than the motherfucker. He's still making them money. He don't have to be around them to be signed to them though. Like this, like he's still making this nigga, them. This nigga, this nigga I'm not. Money. Yes, he's still signed to Young Thug for sure. That's what I said. You think if he was snitching Thug and Thug was upset with him, he was still like be sharing his music on on their pages and all, like having a. Like, if this is my this only, is point, if this is if my Thug only source is okay of with income, him doing that, why would he? Regardless, if Thug is okay with the situation, we're. We, we're talking about the opinion of other people. And from us on the outside, this nigga is a snitch. Now, people are cool with snitches. If thug, that's Thug's nigga. Thug's nigga is a snitch. And if Thug is cool with what his nigga he got did, a loophole that's what. Because he, of the plea that he had. It don't matter, man. It does matter. Oh, don't what if Thug was like, man, go ahead and take this? Don't but the, but that what, still don't what make they it no gave him, for us that's looking on the outside. All they asked him yeah, was, dude, is why you sell a gang? No, he said don't. yes. And that was, I, that's, I, that's, I that was it. I took it back. I said it should. That's all. All they said is why you sell a gang? He said yes. That was the it. Way, no, listen, no, hold, on, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. That nigga said yes, man, listen. to a thousand questions. What the? F- and everything resulted to what? Go back and watch it, Scrooge. Yeah, go back that and watch it, Brandy. That was the most biggest part. Because <laughs> they talking about the drugs that him and Thug got caught with. It was them your drugs? No, ma'am. So if they wasn't your drugs, who the fuck was they? Because oh Jeffrey God. was the only nigga with you. Hey, Christ. Do you see the face he Hey. <laughs> who is that? It, is that drop snitch, man? Ah! Listen. Hey, yeah, you go. Hold on, listen. Hold Y'all on, bro. Y'all get caught with drugs with them your drugs? Nah, don't make my drugs. So if it ain't your drugs, they... Mr. Mr. Brain, they was yours, wasn't they? <laughs> <All right. laughs> if it wasn't Yago, if Yago saying it ain't your his drugs, it's your drugs. Now nah, somebody left that in there. <laughs> oh, okay. It wasn't us. Was it, bro? <laughs> I ain't never seen that it's shit. It's gonna look at like a nigga snitching. He snitch. You don't on. need to drink that C four. You can't you can't do that, like that nigga telling. <laughs> I mean, but listen. He put on. He he dressed. Hold it on, up bro. Just listen. Like the, this is what I'm gonna say. Dress. He put that. Shit the on. way that this trial is going with how Wood, Woody in there acting and shit. This mm-hmm. all might be one big play from the from the jump. Mm-hmm. It could be. We talk again. We're speaking of the opinion of what other people talking about. I ain't say what how I I feel based off of just some snitch shit. How are you? Grown. 36. <laughs> no, he said grown. And grown as fuck. <laughs> he said, what's grown? Because if me and my nigga go down, I don't give a fuck what <laughs> they come to me with. I'm not getting out. That shit is funny. Hey, hey. I'm, right, I'm in here. All right. Unless they just got no evidence and I'm getting out. And if I get out, I'm going to hold my nigga down. But I'm not about to sit here and say CDN is a gang. We got uh, uh, oh, no. we, we have gang activities. Oh, no. Uh, 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 hey, hey, y'all yo. got caught with the drugs. Was it yours? No. Hey, it wasn't. hey not yo. He didn't do that. He didn't do all of that. He did that. He did 
did not do he did not say all of that. He did that. Oh, I'm gonna find the clip and I'm gonna right, listen. He did say he did. He said yes, ma'am, a hundred thousand times. Listen though. Hold on, wait, listen though. Listen, hey, 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 hey. I have to stop yes, y'all. Have to end this because I want to go get me some. Yeah, for sure that. Some food. We know that. No, that. Um, that. Um, yeah. tell me what's going on, y'all. Great pie. Tell me what y'all got going on, real <laughs> quick for the week. Uh, nothing. Mm, easy. I'm gonna relax. That part. Same shit. I ain't got nothing going. I'm talking to the mic, gang. Oh yeah, same shit. I ain't got nothing going. Nothing going on. Eleven days to that NCAA college shit come out. Then I'm gonna be a real house nigga. Damn. Uh, I ain't got nothing going on but studying this CDL book. That's Word. it. Word. Can't hit them books. Why? For sure. Why? Put them in the books. Wait, man. Chilling. I like keep everybody it on me. else, man. Shit. I'm gonna get to enjoy the, the holiday off, you know. I ain't about to barbecue nothing. It's too hot for this shit. <laughs> Fuck around, go pick me something up, and I'm chilling. <laughs> Where you picking something up from? I don't know. We we'll figure that out Nigga later. Nigga going to the munch and Buddha. This shit did come off the grill. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later, but I, yeah. Go ahead, B. Yeah, I might be at the munch and Buddha. You know me. I'm doing like Arco, you said. I'm macking, chilling, chilling. <laughs> doing nothing. You know, with a wind blow, with a nice cold drink, and a nice uh, fat one road, man. Making sure the kids don't blow themselves up for the holiday. Oh, man, don't be mad at me. I'll celebrate both. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I just had to make sure. They let me off work, shit. Shit, if the weed prices go down on the day, I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Niggas got deals around. Scrooge. What you got going on? Deals. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. What you got going but, on? Um, <laughs> but uh, I ain't got nothing going on, man. I'm going to be like the wind, man. I'm going to be blowing, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Chuck. You can't get screwed. What? You know what up? What up? <laughs> what up? John Moxley. Like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't know. Couple F1s, racist. I always call him John Moxley. Um, I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of shit. I got to do. Come on, y'all. We'll make. And figure out which one I'm going to do tomorrow. Okay. All right, man. You know, great pie. Nobody, nobody gets any love today. Can I ask uh, Chuck before we go? <laughs> hey, what, you, ain't you supposed to be working with Trav on a music video? He said that uh, everybody bailed on him. Oh, so it's still in the works? All right, all right. I'm looking oh, forward Lord. to that. What am I going to do? All right. <laughs> Take us home, Nino. All right, man. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. You're tuned in. Everybody has one. And we're going out with... Eat a dick, suck it easy. Damn. Somebody, anybody, mm. everybody, tell them when we're going to see them. In, In a, a minute, minute, boy. In a minute, boy. <laughs>